Okay, I want to make a video today which demonstrates both CodeLink, um, a hacking computer game, and Splashtop, which is a computer program, well, an app and computer program that allows remote desktops. So, as you can see, this is an iPad, an iPad 2. This over, iPad 2, 64 gig. Anyway, so and this is CodeLink, which is a computer hacking game. So this is not an iPad app. So you wouldn't actually find this on an iPad. Anyway, so you could actually use this like as if it was actually an app. Like an actual like CodeLink is almost appified now, just because of this application SplashTop. So really, you can type in your um, account name. and put in your password which I won't show you just look out there while I put my password in that's Manly by the way Manly is in suburb okay I'll log in now this is pretty cool like this actually looks like it was made for iPad and then the actual operating system pops up here so this really looks just amazing, like it is. <laughs> I don't know, I'm getting all excited here. Okay, this is like an iPad app, and look how smoothly it moves around. Like, these are actual like applications. So, really, this is actually you, Splash Top can pretty much convert any computer, and this is like this is running smoothly. This is really like as if it was running on the iPad. This seems like it's an actual iPad app, but it really isn't. This is no joke either. Um, even to prove to you, wait a sec, I've got to prove to you. This is an iPad, just so you know, and this is Splashtop, the app. So really, Splashtop um, is fantastic at emulating um, your computer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting too excited. Okay, calm down, calm down. Anyway. So I'll just show you a little example, just to show you that it is playable. I haven't played it though, so because I, I haven't played it due to RSI, I haven't played it for two years. So let me just see this. Um, this top one says delete a file. Unfortunately, um, this is a flip camera recording this, so you can't really see it very well. But here we go, delete a file, $850 from the Masula Corporation. Okay. So, delete a file, lovely, okay, accept. Okay, so now I'm gonna need some software. So let's, I'll turn the volume up so you can hear the sounds. And it is in our midstream, so computer sounds as well. Okay, so let's get GPS up. Um, unfortunately, GPS view doesn't work so well, like, I can actually get it to work well, so if I did this, I could click on things like that and connect, but I prefer to just use database view for this app. Okay, well it's not an app, but anyway. So we can scroll down and look um, at this scrolling, like you can full on scroll up and down like that. That is perfect. Splashtop has fully emulated that really well. Okay, let me just log on to the CodeLink orientation server. And yes, there are ads in this. That's okay though, they need revenue. And also, see the speed that's loading? You can actually upgrade your computer to make it run faster. Anyway, this is no code link walkthrough. Don't do it any, <laughs> don't treat it like that. So let's just um, get the private proxy here. Did that actually work? So if I connect somewhere else now. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, I'm just gonna um, save for it. Okay. So now let's log on to the software hub to get some software. And yes, this is an iPad. I've said it many times. I'm still quite amazed. So don't forget this is an iPad running this.
Okay, here we go. Okay. I need... Where is the log killer? There we go. Log killer. Yeah. Um, and... Fire... No, password bypasser. Okay, that should be enough. Oh crap, I got an email. Alright, oh, that's just the mission email. Okay, quit that now. Okay, so disconnect gateway. Um, now I've got to quickly delete my logs. Oh, but I can't until I install the software. Okay, log killer. There we go, installing. If you upgrade the CPU of your computer, it should install faster. From memory, I don't know, I haven't played this for two years. Because I've got RSI. Ah, come on. I hope this video turns out because it is looking pretty blurry through here. But just so you know, the actual screen itself on the iPad using this application is fantastic. It is perfectly clear the application works well it's smooth like it's fantastic and it really looks like it's an ipad app this it, I, I can't tell you how perfect it is okay anyway let's now connect to the software hub which is here no it's not here and delete my logs because i don't want anyone to know i bought that software this is all fake by the way but it is logged. But you don't get in trouble in real life, just in the game. <laughs> okay, come on. Now what am I doing? Why did I just connect to the stuff? I've obviously got problems here. <laughs> I meant to connect to the CodeLink orientation server. Okay, anyway, you get the picture. This is a pretty cool app, um, Splashtop. So it's in the App Store for $5, and you can run pretty much any... Okay, I'm going to be s not overrating this here. Almost any app. Um, really advanced things such as, like, I don't know if, what kind of really advanced games that's something that we use like direct x like i don't know civilization 5 something like that is not very good because it'll have a direct draw problem or something like that so as you can see i'm deleting my logs oh wow this is why you gotta up, up uh upgrade the cpu of the computer because look how slow that bar is moving and look how many logs i've got to delete just for that reason, I'm probably going to have to end this video here because I don't want to bore you out. But yeah, this is a fantastic application which can, and I'll show you, it can actually emulate other things as well. I'll delete these logs later. But, okay. Um, if you want the keyboard to appear, it appears like that. So it's perfectly, and it's got these extra buttons here. I can press escape, save and quit. And there we go. And then you've got your actual Windows 7 desktop or whatever operating system you're using. Even Windows 8. You can actually, yeah, run Windows 8. And there we go. So you can open. And it's like, like instant. Like you can open it up and then browse the web. Like it is perfectly fast. And type in whatever you're interested in looking at. Um, so this is a fast application. It is super... <laughs> I can't explain how much this is literally Windows 7 on your iPad. And there's Windows 8 if you want to run that on your iPad as well. Through um, simulation, of, what is it, like Splashtop Metro Test Box, something like that. But anyway, this is a fantastic application, Splashtop, and I recommend it. And just so you know, it doesn't just work really good for that game as well. You might do something else like maybe... um. 
end game singularity. Make sure you um, run at full screen. Um, usually this works well, but okay, yeah, it does. So, like this now, once again, this is another just game just to show you an example that it works. So you can do this and like, like this is actually it seems like an app. This seems like um, I'm playing some kind of iPad app game, and like even the numbers move perfectly fast and the time goes by and when you click on things you can drag them across and do things like that it is just a fantastic app it's like so fast as well I don't even know what this video is about anymore it was supposed to be about that other game but now it's just about random stuff just showing you that splash up and look at how smooth that um, day to night is moving along as well that's another good thing to show you so this really is a great great app Oh, and just to show you, like, if you were to watch a video, um, okay, I'll do an audio this file. This audio book contains advice and information relating to healthcare. See? It's not intended to replace medical advice. So there we go, it is really, it is live. You cannot, um, <laughs> like, if you were looking at something, I don't know. Let me think of something else. So you can open, you can drag windows around like this. This is a fantastic application. And no, I'm not getting paid to advertise this, by the way. Um, and there we go. Wait a second, not that. So, like, if you open a video file... What's happening? See? Oh, this video file... It's running very well. See? So that is working well. And you can even track through videos. There we go. It is a little bit laggy at points, but look at that. It is running perfectly. So videos, anything like this is really fantastic. There is one downside, however. One thing I don't like is to fit the iPad's resolution, it's running at... What is it running at? Let me just... I think it's like 1024 by 768. Wait. Ah, uh, no, not trackpad mode. Okay. So I'll just show you um, screen resolution. You must run your resolution at 1024 by 768 to get this app to work. But really, it's fantastic, and I'll show you why. Yes, it stuffs up your desktop, and your desktop computer looks terrible just temporarily while you're running this app. But if I come down here, turn this light on. Okay. Let's put that there. Right here. Okay. So as you can see, yeah, your computer monitor, it'll go square view to fit the iPad square view. It's not really good, but as soon as you quit this app, watch this. Quit it, the screen goes back to normal and your desktop's fully fine again. That's one thing I love about this app. It doesn't stuff up your icons like lots of other applications do once you quit the application, so it is fantastic. It'll reset everything back to normal and you can use your iPad and desktop to go in and as soon as you connect to it on your iPad and connection is so easy. Um, just tap your computer's name and it'll pop up and then when you're done and it gives you all the gestures and how to do right click and scrolling oh yeah scrolling I can show you how to do that so scrolling works really well so let's um, I don't know let's type in something random Minecraft so if you were to scroll through a web browser, you could either scroll at the side here, and that works really well, it's really fast, it's fantastic. Or you could um, use two fingers. Yeah, there we go, that is that app. So I'll see you in another video. Anyway.